Hello YouTubers and random Doctor Who fans, it is me, Ozzy, and today welcome to a brand new instalment in the Doctor Who Merch Hunt series. If you're not familiar or you're new to this channel, Merch Hunt is basically where we go around all the shops, high street shops, charity shops, you name it, looking for Doctor Who items. We just get anything that we don't have, just have a really fun time, have a blast while we're doing it. I was absolutely honoured to be joined by Richard Lloyd and Miles Taylor from Tailored Vision on this episode and we decided to go to Lancaster because it's a place I've not been before, a very nice place and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now I'll just say right off the bat there are a few audio issues. We were using lapel mics which lapel mics are great, they're really good, the audio is pretty damn crystal clear in places but unfortunately Miles' lapel mic wasn't working. So we had to end up using me and Richard with the lapel mics and rely on the in-camera audio for Miles and you can't hear him in places which is a real bummer. It's very annoying. I've tried to put subtitles on where he spoke and you can't hear. But either way, it's the first merch hunt which is in 4K so it's like a full immersive experience. But without further ado, let's just get into it. It begins. It begins. The search begins. Will we find anything? That's the question. Or will we find? Black and white first doctor set in a charity shop. Very nice. Sure. If we find that, then I mean, we might as well just go home then. Yes, yeah, we'll just, just die happy at that point. Oh, well, <laughs> that's the thing. If we did find it, who would get it? Well, I've question. already got it. Yeah. Oh, well, there we so, go. So, me and Richard but if it's the San Diego Comic Con version, I'll get it because there's two different versions. <laughs> So, uh, we've not had Miles on the channel before, so just tell us a bit about yourself and how you came into Doctor Who collecting. Um, well, I've collected things since since 2000 and whatever it was, 2007, whatever it was that I got into Doctor Who. Um, and yeah, I've never stopped. Um, I basically, I'm more of a cherry picker, I like to call myself. You yeah. Know, like I'll pick what I really want to get, nothing, I don't get it all. I'm a big fan of getting the B&M sets and things recently, so... That's the. I mean, they're affordable, aren't they? You know, for, they a, are. for a casual collector. And I'm an advocate of the um, of the standard edition collection sets as well. So this really hurts my arm, guys. <laughs> Off we go. Okie dokie, so we are at Sainsbury's and last time we found, was it just the Web of Fear thing that we found last time in Sainsbury's? Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? Um, yeah, yeah. And Doxy Magazine. Doxy Magazine. Um, so well, maybe... I doubt we're going to find much today. No, maybe a DVD or two. In fact, actually, surprisingly, they used to have some of the old classic stuff in here, like the box sets, oh, wow. um, DVDs, so... Fingers crossed, guys. You never know, you never know. Fingers cool. crossed. Cool. Follow us. Right, we're in Sainsbury's, guys, so... Let's head for the DVD magazine section. I didn't realise Argos was still a thing. Yeah, it's What like, do you know? <laughs> it's sort of been uh, condensed down into Sainsbury's. Cool. Stationary, it's not in stationary. Ah, here we are. Oh my god, there's a black and white first Doctor set on there. <laughs> in Sainsbury's. Yeah, of course there is. Uh, any sonic figures? Okay, books. Uh, is there any stuff out at the moment, Doctor Who wise, or? Uh, nothing even sort of uh, vaguely connected, is there? Oscar recommends. Oh, of course, they've, um, they've stopped selling DVDs in here now. Did you read that thing online about? I just remembered. Yeah, I think they've stopped selling them in Sainsbury. <laughs> so, isn't it? When was the last time that we had Doctor Who stuff in a general retail shop? It was like the 3.75 inch figures. Properly, yeah. Yeah, I think I was so. probably the last yeah, one, yeah. Properly. Report! Only 43% of our viewers are subscribed to the Mono Supreme YouTube channel! This is unacceptable! YouTube content is operating at maximum efficiency! Without the likes and comments, the Dalek race shall cease to exist! All humans must be forced to be part of the Mono Supreme Empire. It will be done. They will subscribe or be exterminated. Uh, see, th this works, kind of. Doctor oh. Who. And it's stuff for delivery Stand only. These. Stand these. Okay. Uh, no, oh, there we are. Doctor Who magazine. Will either of you be picking this up? Got already, so subscribers version. Uh, little exclusive though. Exclusive. Oh, go on. Uh, keep your eye on that next month. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I kind of started that trend with my uh, Bottles in Time unboxing and then everyone after that did it. <laughs> so after Sainsbury's we decided to go to B&M. Oh, good old B&M, they'll have Doctor Who stuff. Never lets us down. Or does it? One at the end. Just the end. It's just the end one. Mm 
expected. Nothing. Yeah, always I wasn't expecting nothing. Baron. Absolutely yeah, nothing. Not even the bobbleheads. Not, not bad. <laughs> I mean, it is a small. Yeah, small, it's small smallest smallest I've been into. Well, that was disappointing. Not a single Doctor Who set. Luck really wasn't on our side today. Oh God, what's happened, guys? Uh, we're at First Age Comics, Lancaster's comic shop. Uh, haven't been here before, but knew it existed. Uh, and sadly, it's closed today. Closed. Um, but they have got it. a few bits and pieces that we can see, like uh, that comic there, um, some Decided Destiny books through the window, and can we see it? Capaldi comics and stuff. No, we can't really see. Um, so from all this way. And it's, the, the, the funny thing is, right, it's open on basically every day. Yeah, apart, apart from, from Monday. Apart from Monday. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Sunday, but yeah. <laughs> so what are the chances? So it's time to pick things back up and head to pop culture superstar HMV. Yeah, there's a lot of pops, so I'm sure there'll be at least one Doctor Who one. Oh yeah. Yeah, little Dalek thing. Eagle Moss. Oh, they've got the other one. Because there's two different versions of this Parliament set, right? Yeah, it's so, it's it's two, I think, isn't it? So Nice. I saw the little, um, I don't know if I've got it here, but like in Manchester, I saw the little TARDIS they've re-released in the box, like the Elaborate Doctor one. Oh, that one, without the, yeah. without the St. John's ambulance. Yeah, logo. and they all, uh, that uh, Manchester one, they also had the advent calendar reduced, like 65 quid. Oh, wow. The, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's a big thing. Well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that kind of counts a Just little bit. Ah, yeah. uh, what we found, guys? What we found? Got loads of Blu-rays here. Yeah, I'm pretty much all the new Blu-rays. I think this is the most recent one, isn't it? Galaxy Four. Galaxy Four, yeah. Is it and worth um, it? Is it? Is it worth I've it? I've not seen it. I haven't watched it yet, so. Uh, yeah. I'll comment. Yeah. Got a sort of web of fear as well. Yes. And of, of course, course, we might not be getting more Doctor Who animated ones in the next. Oh few years. yeah. And we've also got the standards. Want to call look? Fresh out today. Yeah. Just oh, wow. yeah. the point. Oscar, what we found? Oh uh, yes, we found a TARDIS. Little glass. They're always yeah. really nice, these, but oh, yeah, I, yeah. I've got too many glasses at home, so I couldn't buy any. Yeah. <laughs> and the gimbal died. Sorry, guy. The, the gimbal's dead. Look at it. <laughs> All so right. So just gonna be handheld for the rest, but yeah. you know. And that was the uh, DVDs. All still there. We've got Doctor Who door mat. Look at that. Yeah. It's bigger on the inside. Set that I've already got. Ooh. In a different form. There you go. Season 19. Back in season as well. Very yeah. good. There you go. Cool. So, right, now we're going to go in the entertainer. What do you think is going to be in here, guys? Uh, I think nothing, to be honest. I've yeah. There has been some stuff in recent years, but that's before lockdown. Uh, I know it's just like tiny bits of these hot fun curves, things like that, so. You never know. You never know. You never know. You never know. Let's go. Pops. Oh. So we just got told off for filming, but I told him it was for uni and he said, oh, that's all right then. <laughs> so. Tech decks, tech decks, tech decks. <gasps> oh! Well, I found something I'm getting. Oh, I used to have those. Oh, wow. I used to know people who have those, yeah. I did not know that they made this set. That, uh, well, I'm walking out of here, happy bunny. <laughs> yeah, no dot two stuff. No, when they had the refund dialogue, it was like around there, but. Uh... Yeah, well, I'm walking away with something, so. Oh, okay. That's really cool. Show that for my second channel if anyone's interested. So now it was time to get our hands really dirty and start rummaging through second-hand DVDs. QCEX. First CAX I've set them to. Okay, what have we got? Well, that's original Series 6. Uh, Eight and then like the re-release of Series uh, both Series 5 and 6. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh wow, I've not, I've not seen that cover. I think it's because it's not got the slip case. Oh, oh is yeah, it because it's not got the slip case? Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Gemma Cryon Gemma Cryon on the side there. I think that would uh, not the slip case on that usually. Nice, these are all in. Oh look, there's even a DVD file. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wait, what? Remembrance on DVD files. That's nice. They've even got some here, the classic ones that are in the uh, case. Clip so case, some people have really recently bought fairly them. Fairly new. Actually, no. Compared to like, the silver case. I'm not surprised Tyler and Rani's found this way. <laughs> this is a very tempting buy because <laughs> Remembrance is my favourite story so of all time. So if you get every release of it. So if I got every single release <laughs> of it. Well, that's what it got. It's the um, oh, yeah, the, the sat, didn't it? It came with the Water of Mars. I, I used to have that. Oh, wow. 
Is that that's not got that's not got the slip case on? Oh yeah, cool. yeah. Day shiny. Shiny. The thing is, if we found Sarah Jane Adventures, would that be in the kids section? That is true. That is true. That is. Do with Can I never see Sarah Jane Adventures in? I've never seen one in a while. I've never. Actually, that's a lie. At my mum's charity shop, we got the entire DVD collection. <laughs> but I meant like places like CEX and that kind of thing. You don't see them in. You don't. Obviously, no. people just don't want to part with the Sarah Jane Adventures because it's just too good. It's just the best. Too wholesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. John Sim kind of counts. <laughs> there you go. That is the spin off where the master loses his memory and decides to become a cop in the 70s. So. The official canon explanation, guys. Some Blu rays. For a quid as well. Oh, yeah, oh wow, that is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Five ones, Christmas Carol, Doctor with Wardrobe. How is Doctor with a Wardrobe more money than Series 5? Oh, where's the justice here, guys? I oh, know, and Series 10 Part 2 there as well. Oh, yeah. Do this. You can do this. Wait, can't you see I'm taking a shh? Oh, it's you. Hi, I'm world renowned writer Stephen Moffat, and I've been paid a certain amount of targets to tell you, the viewer, to like, comment, and subscribe, and to head over to Mono Supreme Mania for additional content like Sonic reviews, merch and extras, and behind the scenes. Now, a wee bit of privacy, would you? Okay, we're going to Oxfam next. Good, that's a good find. We've got those books up there. Up there, yeah. Okay, Bernardo's. Let's go. I'm a, a veteran in rummaging through uh, charity shop boxes. He's found another one. Series 2, volume. That's uh, nice. Bought with it? Yeah. Cool. Right, so we're going to go into water stunts. Uh, have we found anything in water stunts recently? Uh, there will, have, have there there. will be some bits in here. Yeah. Don't know how much. Um, yeah, like the day of the doctor novelization or something like that, you know. Yeah. Oh, right well, down there. The Ooh, That's a good book, actually. Isn't it? There's a few Mr. Men doctor books. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got uh, Doctor Seven, Doctor Twelve. Uh, the day of the day. it's it's always there. Any waterstones you go in, and you will find that. They never have. Well, that's true. <laughs> they have like that, maybe Rose as well. Never any others. Book as well, the, um, oh yeah. Of all the stuff that cool. you can get for free, but you know, yeah. it's a nice book and it goes to charity. We still have a little picture of the TARDIS. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, oh, which is kind of cool. Oh, it's still there. It's like a time capsule. Yeah. Like, this will be here forever, and the Doctor Who thing will be there forever. Yeah. So mm. that's nice. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Oh, is that the the second one? Yeah. We've seen the new ones that they're putting out. The new. Oh, the paperback versions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They look really nice, actually. I think I might wait for the paperback one. Yeah. Lead the way. Here we go. Oh, it's just... Ah. <laughs> Why do I always seem to find a John Bishop thing in every single chair? Oh, yeah, without that, the DVD game. Oh, we've got something already. Yep. Ah. Oh, the handbag comes. Don't see those as often as the uh, paperback. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, have they just like changed the colour of Rose's outfit? Yeah, because in that uh, new world. That's what they And she's not in the other covers because Billy Piper didn't want to uh, appear on any of the merch after really? she left. So there's some with just David Tennant. That's, that's why. why. Okay, so that was Lancaster. What do what do we make of that, guys? <laughs> yeah, we, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. It's, there wasn't as much as I was anticipating, mm. but we still found some bits, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you're a DVD collector, then... Yeah, if you're a DVD collector, then get down to Lancaster. Get down to Lancaster, that's all I'm going to say, but as far as action figures go, well, it's here. Yeah. It's all the Dalek figurines in HMV. Oh, yeah. That was the extent uh, of that kind yes. of yeah, yeah, that's that's merchandise true. thing. Yeah. But mm -hmm. Other than that, I mean, obviously, if you if you come around on a day other than Monday, then you could check out the comic, comic shop, shop. That, yes. that looked very good through the window that yes. we saw. But, you know, other than that, I think it's... Maybe not a Doctor Who town on Lancaster. Just come here for the nice. There's a lovely church. Yeah, there's a nice priory. Church. Sorry, yeah. and there's a you know a nice castle. Yeah. So you could film a nice fan film around here, I guess. Yeah. You know, we had a lovely lunch as well. Lovely lunch. Lovely lunch. Great. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, and I, I mean, I've got my mm. season 18. So I'm, I'm like yeah, 18. Got, 19. 19. 
Yeah. You got something. I got right I mean, one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I ended up getting a Sonic thing, which I'll probably do an unboxing uh, and on the second channel. Richie got uh, some chocolate. Yeah. Richie got some chocolate. chocolate. So we're all happy in our own way. You know, yeah. good. So it wasn't a complete a day, day. day well spent. No. Okay, so well, thank you very much for joining me on Thanks. this journey. Thank, thank you. Us. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah. Where, can, where yeah. can we find you? We can find you on. Uh, just for me, my name Richard Lloyd on YouTube, Twitter, everything, Instagram. Cool. And that's the same for me. You can find me on Twitter at Tailored Vision and on YouTube. And that's Tailored Vision as well. Not Sibley, Sibley the 1010 anymore. No, that's, no, no, no. That's dead and gone. It's quite funny because back in the day I'd watched your videos on Sibley the 1010 once. Mm -hmm. And I didn't make, join the dots that it was the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I rebranded and people yeah. got so angry about it as well. That really? The backlash, I was astounded at. I was changing my name. <laughs> yeah. But there we go. Yeah, no, so well. Just do what I do and shut down the channel and then start a new one. <laughs> that's probably well. a good idea. No, <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> Bad idea. Uh, but yeah, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode of Merchant. Goodbye. So that was it for that video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more episodes of Merch Hunt, comment below and let me know what have you found in the secondhand shops or on High Street, anything really cool because yeah, I've some, seen some real gems in places but then there's some days where you see nothing, it's, it really is luck of the draw. We really should be getting more stuff in the High Street shops like Sainsbury's and all that kind of stuff. I know the, the scene has changed completely but we really should be getting something at least and I feel like the Rusty Davis era version 2 should hopefully, hopefully bring that back a little bit. I think Doctor Who really needs to step up its game and be noticed by the general audience again because, well, let's face it, it thrives in the mainstream. And merchandise directly correlates with the mainstream. If the merchandise is selling well, then the show's gonna do well. So, it all just links and hopefully we'll reach the golden days again, guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all the new viewers for watching and subscribing and liking the video. Really do appreciate that and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Whee! <laughs>